Welcome back to another episode of The Shack Show. And in this episode of The Shack Show, I'm going to talk about my Stormer Surf Top Jacket. Stormer jackets are awesome uh, and I really, really love them. I've fished with all sorts of other jackets, but the Stormer surf top in particular is just purpose built for surf fishing and I wear it from spring all the way through summer into fall. Um, I swim around with it. There's just so many different parts about this jacket that I love, um, but it's so hard to like pick one place to start. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the hood of this jacket. Uh, has the ability to cinch on the back as much as you would like it to be. So if you want to really cinch down the back of it, has a little Velcro area for you to cinch the hood down against your, your hat that you're wearing or something. So when it's raining really hard, there's not a lot of area around here for the water to get in from the rain. And uh, you can really cinch it down. There's also places right here where you can cinch the hood against your face, which is super awesome, which I love. Uh, the other thing that's just amazing is it has a rubber gasket right here. See this little rubber gasket right here seals in against your neck. And when the when you're like swimming around or you, a big wave hits you in the face, it keeps the water from running down your neck, which keeps you warm. And especially if you're wearing something like waders or something, and you don't want to get and you have a nice like you can wear like fairly nice things underneath it and still be you know keeping that dry and keeping you even warmer which is super awesome then if we move over to the wrist section of it it has a clasp right here which you can tighten down against the wrists of the stormer jacket you can also on the inside of here if i can even get to it there is, um, there's the same rubber gasket around your wrists. So that's super awesome because it keeps water from running down your wrists. As you can see right there, you have the same little rubber gasket there that goes right around your wrist and keeps the water from getting in there, which is again, like they've thought of everything when it comes to this jacket. And then the same thing for the bond with this, you can cinch it with these, you can cinch it tight with these bungee uh, strings there. And you have these two big uh, Velcro flaps that you can cinch even tighter around your waist. And there's a, and it's rubber right around here on the inside of it, which keeps it fully sealed around your waders or your wetsuit or whatever you're using. So you can be completely sealed in. Now the things that I really love about this is in particular, it's almost like a safety device because it will keep you buoyant in the water like you wouldn't believe. It's to the point where it's like, it's almost like wearing a life jacket when you're in the water. You'll bob around with this thing on. I mean, it's, it's amazing how, like, how much air it will trap and how you'll float with this in the water. I wear my wetsuit with this. It's just an extra layer of like neoprene to keep me warm when I'm fishing and keep my upper body basically dry. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, the water is going to come in through the uh, the, the waders or th through the the wetsuit, I mean. But uh, it will keep you your upper body basically dry when you're swimming around. Like I've swam many meters through the water and with my wetsuit, and I my whole upper body stayed completely dry with this on, which is amazing. And on top of that, if you're wearing waders, which happens a lot when you're fishing early in the spring, and you need to swim which I've done and I've tested this out, I've swam with my waders on and this, and you're fully sealed in. And I wouldn't suggest doing this. I definitely would not. I'm gonna put that out there. Don't swim with these. But 
if you happen to fall in the water, it's going to keep you basically fully sealed. There's a little bit of water that got into my uh, waders, but other than that, it was basically completely sealed and I swam a good distance with these on. So I highly don't suggest doing that because if you have any type of a, a opening, you're gonna get water in your waders and that's gonna be really, really bad. But it does to that extent, like if you are going to be in a place where you could fall in with waders on, having one of these jackets is unbelievable. Now, the one like downside to this is because it's so sealed that it's not very breathable. So when you're fishing in the summer, you're going to sweat in this thing. It gets hot. But for all of those upsides and how dry it's going to keep you and how warm you're going to be, it's unbelievable for fishing in hurricanes, you know, spring, fall, all year round. I love this Stormer jacket. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic. So that's my review of like the Stormer surf top, a pouch which is unbelievable because what I'll do is I'll keep leaders and extra line and stuff in here so that when I'm fishing, I can grab like my leader wallet, which is empty right now because it's the winter and I can fish with leaders in there. I have my, my, um, I'll put a, uh, a, if I can find it, here it is. I'll put a, uh, little measuring tape in here to measure the fish with. I have everything I want in there that's like soft and stuff. I'll put, you know, extra line in there. It, it drains out, it has nice drains at the bottom and it won't fill up with water, uh, which is super awesome when you're swimming around with it. Uh, but it does get wet. So don't put your phone and stuff in here thinking it's not gonna get wet because it will. Uh, and that is kind of the last thing. So that was my thing that I forgot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you next time.